All right, so this is lesson uh, 5-9 homework practice on critique reasoning. What the students are gonna be doing is seeing the thought process of another student and how they solve the problem, and if they agree or don't agree that the person got the correct answer. So we're gonna start down here. There were 64 runners in a race last year. This year there were 25 fewer numbers. Fewer lets us know we're gonna subtract. So our real equation is gonna be 64 minus 25. But LaToya, the student in the class, says that 39 runners were in the race this year. She says that 64 minus 30 is easy to subtract. So she added 25 plus 5 to equal 30. Then she found 64 minus 30 equals 34, then added 5 to 34 to get 39. So what we're doing over here is we've got 64 minus 25 is our basic equation. Then LaToya says that she added 5 to the 25 to get it to be 30 because it's easier for her to, to subtract 64 minus 30. Again, students can count backwards, three groups of 10, 64, 54, 44, 34 is what that's going to add. So 64 minus 30 equals 34. And because we added 5 here, we also need to add 5 here. So 34 plus 5 is going to equal 39. Let's check. She said she got 39, and she added the 5 to the 34 here. We did all the same process, so we're going to hit agree, that we do agree with how she did it. We're just taking a look at their reasoning. Again, there's more than one way to do it, but we're just taking a look at the way the sample students have done it. Landing planes. Uh, Luis says the number of landings in the afternoon, so in the afternoon, equals the number of landings in the morning and evening. So our morning and evening will be the same amount as the ones in the afternoon. Do you agree with Luis? So the first thing we need to do, what do you know? What do you need to know? So what do we know and what do we need to know? So we know how many planes landed at the different times. So you can say how many planes landed at each time. You can say, I know. I need to find out if 74 equals 38 plus 36. So I need to find out if 74, because I'm going to put an A for afternoon equals 36 M for morning plus 38 E for evening. So what they're basically saying is that afternoon equals morning plus evening. So we plug it in, afternoon is 74 equals 36 plus 38. So now it says use pictures, words, or equations to explain if Luis's thinking is correct. So we want to see if 36 plus 38 equals 74. So we could do 38 plus 36. The students can do it any way that they'd like to. They can group 30 plus 30 equals 60, and 8 plus 6 equals 14. 60 plus 14 is 74, or whatever method they would like to solve. So it is correct. And if they want to write a sentence at the end, they can say, yes, he is correct. And we like to see that writing component, that the students can also use words to explain what they're doing. Okay, number four. Luis got his answer by finding 74 minus 38 equals 36. Now that's different than how we did it. Now there's a ton of different ways that it could be done. But for this one, I was just thinking with the equation I made, that's how I could do it. But look at his equation's different. He starts with his afternoon. He subtracts the evening of 38. And he says that the morning is 36. 
Do you agree? So let's take a look at this. Do we agree with him on how he did it? So does 74 minus 38, and again, the students can do it however they would like to, equal 36. So they can go through and use number lines. They can break it up in our old style that we do, minus 38. They can separate that into 30 and 8 and go through, and they will find that it is correct that he is correct in his way of doing that.